The Padres got what they deserved. They got what they deserved. A extra innings loss. They have not won a game in extra innings this season. Where do I start? So many frustrating spots in that game. So there was the rain delay, obviously. That pissed probably a lot of fans off because they had to stay up later than they wanted to. And then Seth Lugo, off to a good start, pitches well, but mishandles that grounder to him, then makes a bad throw, then Bogarts. It was a catchable ball. Doesn't catch the ball. Could have been a double play ball, but then later in the inning, couple runs score, and that was one of the differences in this game going to extra innings. And then... There were the ground ball double plays that Bogey grounded into. I think he leads Major League Baseball in ground ball double plays uh, so far this season, so that was frustrating. And, you know, it was the missed opportunities again. And, you know, Trent, thank goodness he comes up clutch there in the ninth inning with two outs and he ties the game with the home run, but the Padres, they deserve to lose this game. With all the opportunities they had, Matt Williams sending Juan Soto that was the game-tying run there. I think it was the seventh inning. Soto didn't even get to third base before the center fielder had the ball. And Matt Williams sends Soto. I know Soto's head was down, but it didn't look like Matt Williams was holding the stop sign up or else he would have been farther down the line than where he was. So I think he sent him. Was he watching the same game we were? I mean, holy cow, what a bad send that was. I mean, I just have to laugh because of how bad of a send it was. I mean, you have Don in the booth saying, like, I mean, the ball got there five minutes ago. Such a terrible send. And then for Juan Soto to to have the Padres challenge that play, like that play was going to get overturned. Dude, you got thrown out by a million steps. Like, stop. Um, there was that. Again, it was a miracle Grish had that home run there. And Padres had bases loaded there in the top of the 10th. You have the bases loaded with nobody out, and you can't score a run. I know Crony put a good swing on that, and that was hit right at the shortstop. Like, can't do much about that. Can't do anything about that. But, you know, and Bogarts, I get the count, had to put the ball in play, but you can't ground, you can't hit a ground ball there infield in a ground ball right at someone and ends up being a force out crony with the line out and sanchez rolls over and you don't get any runs what a brutal loss rockies obviously they had i think the bases loaded in the bottom of the 10th and they're the ones that come through they get the sack fly that's what the padres needed bases loaded nobody out and they couldn't get a sack fly just i mean the lugo bad throw bogart's not catching that ball the Matt Williams bad send. Bases loaded, no, bases loaded, nobody outs in the 10th inning, and you can't score a run. I mean, you don't deserve to win that game when that happens to you. And the Padres don't win the game. So, should they sell now? <laughs> they have a sweep against the Rangers, and then this happens. I mean, that's the Padres, right? It's the Padres. And so, trade deadlines tomorrow. It'll be a long night for me because I'm going to stay up and watch the U.S. Women's National Team here at midnight and then probably have a video out at like 3 in the morning on that. So if you're a fan of that, you can stay tuned for that. But yeah, plenty of coverage tomorrow. If there's a deal that happens, well, regardless of if there's a deal or not, I'll, I'll probably go uh, have a live show before the Padre game tomorrow and kind of give a reaction to what happens at the deadline. And then normal Padres pregame, postgame thoughts and uh, series reaction on Wednesday afternoon. What, what a freaking brutal loss.